What's going on, folks? Great Razor, we out here on Shade 45. It's another Grind Setters. Happy holidays to one and all. Um, all right, so I'm going to take it home a little bit. You know I love it when I get to represent people from the Bronx, from uh, Manhattan, from Queens, from Staten Island. Of course, I got to rep people from Brooklyn. Shout out to Smith BDM. He's never going to let me not have people in from Brooklyn in here. But we're going to take a trip south, man. I want to take it back to uh, North Carolina. Now, what are you more familiar with? Or actually, not even familiar. What are you more comfortable with? Vietnam or Fayetteville? Vietnam. Or should we say The Ville? Ville, two six. Two six. All right, we gonna say all that and then some, man. We got the we got the homie in the building. Nameless validity. Yeah, that's right. that's a hell of a name. Yeah, believe me, I was in here practicing this shit. This is a hell of a name, man. You stand. First of all, it stands out. That's a good thing. That's always a good thing. Particular type of spelling here, man. Why why did you name like spell your name? My first like name Salaman Arabic. So my oh, name spelled backwards is nameless. Oh, so cop. See, that's fire right there. Yeah. See, you, you got to tell people that type of stuff because otherwise they go just jack your name up left and right, man. So, you know, I got the, I put it backwards. My man, he just passed away. He would be all put our name backwards, though, in the Ville. Uh, he died in a car accident. My, Sorry to hear my that. My last name is Validity. Just meaning like value, I'm saying, being true, being honest, and integrity. You know what, I'm mm-hmm. so. what, what kind of... What kind of artist would you describe to our listeners? Because we have a good amount of people. This is Eminem's channel, so you know we got yeah. a few million listeners yeah. up here. How would you describe yourself as an artist? Like I would describe myself like a mix between oh my people I'm inspired by, like Lupe Fiasco, like bars trying to drop like not, like bars and like trying to keep certain type of substance, and then like A Z I L spit them bars back to back. He'll rhyme a word like back to back, back to back, but it still be like some fly wavy hair type. Rolling down Times Square with the windows down, like that type of vibe. Like Andre 3000 singing on the hooks. That melodic stuff, though, man. Just the Kanye West with, like, the production. But also, like, bringing that J. Cole, like, that's a little bit of Southern flavor, though. Like, not all with, like, MJG or 3-6 Mafia, but it's still, like, certain things in the South that only a person that lives in the South could relate to. Right, right. And I still got the up north because, like, I did, like I said, I, I lived in favor, though, but I did go to Thomas Jefferson for, like, a few, went to middle school, like, it's in front of Cypress Hills. My parents born and raised in Brooklyn. My dad from Belize. So it was like, it's like a mix of everything. So. God, you got you got the best of a lot of worlds. Yeah, yeah. That's that's right there. You on your MJ stuff, Michael Jordan. Every once in a while, he'll go ahead and claim, "Yeah, I'm from Brooklyn. You know, I was born in Brooklyn." I, I get it. I understand, man. Let's go ahead and take a step back though, because you got this new project, yes, Ten sir. Green Lights Three. Yes, sir. And you did one. I want to say that was like four years ago. You did yeah, two yeah. about two years ago. It was a gap yeah, pandemic. 20, 2018. Yep. 2018. 2019. And you know, everybody like was telling me to put out more music because it's the pandemic. Because everybody's sitting home. But I'm like. That's what everybody gonna try to do, is try to put out some music. And I, I seen a lot of projects come out. Like we had the homie uh, from Tusi from the, uh, North Carolina. He actually grew up during the yeah. pandemic, though. Yep. But a lot of people put out a lot of music, and it's like they know people like y'all, people that could connect them. It'll make sense. But just to do it when you still trying to bridge that gap with the marketing, kind of like, I ain't want to waste no music though. Like I didn't want to be that person that like get on and have like twenty albums though. Like I didn't. I didn't mm-hmm. want to be that person. I try to make sure I save my music for when I feel like I reached another level. I made another connection or as far as my skill set got better. So I skipped a year. What's the What's the trilogy about, though? Because I, it, in listening to th- just this one, you know, of course, I'm going to go back. Yeah. But I know in listening to this one, there's a path yeah. that you're going down. What's the trilogy about? It's, it's all of this. It's just like tingling lights. Like, you know, you run into tingling lights. That's special. That's rare. If you like behind, you run the ten green lights, you're gonna get what you need to go to on time because everything just opened up for you. It's like a, a rare thing and it's just like it's no breaks, no stopping, just all go, don't matter what we go through, we're gonna just keep going and keep finding a way and trying to figure everything out because it's like people like Jay Z, Kanye West like the probably the second hottest artist in the world after Drake. He's like older, you know what I'm saying? So like Jay Z, Kanye, Eminem, certain right, even like being the butcher, they they opening the window. So it's mm-hmm. like, man, you got no choice but to keep going now. Like if you twenty one, if you eighteen, if you thirty, thirty five, it's like it's no excuse. You know what I'm saying? Like Charlotte the guy, he's like one of the best interview with journalism. He's older. He's like you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying, like it's no mm-hmm. excuse no more. You could do this. It's like rock and roll now. You know, like you could do this though. I like that idea, too, man. Unless you drive with somebody like New York Smitty, he don't even care about green lights here in the city, man. But look, don't worry about that. We're going to get in trouble if we talk too much about his driving. We're going to get to this first joint any given Sunday. This isn't so much about football, more about relationships. I like the way you made that that connection right there. Look, man, Nameless Validity, he's in the building. Let me make sure I say that correctly. Nameless Validity, he's in the building. It's great, Rizzy. We out here. Shade 45 is another grind setters. Turn this up. 
Grind setters, we out here on Shade 45, people. We got nameless validity in the building. And first of all, I want to go ahead and do this. I want people to hit them up in real time on IG and Twitter. It's S dot music though. Yeah. You went totally left yeah. from your actually na- your, your name. Yeah. Why? Because my, my real nickname is S dot. Okay. My real name is Salama, so they just call me S dot dot. And you know, like in the Ville, we had like a lingo, like we be like, oh, what's good though? What you saying though? Like it'd be something mm-hmm. talk, like what's good though? From this mm-hmm. one uh viral thing on YouTube. Like so what you saying though, what you saying though? So we just going with that and like kinda stuck with my name. Like a couple of my friends got that same thing at the end of their name. Ah, uh, the though yeah. the though yeah, at the though, end. Yeah, like copy, copy. We talked a little bit about your your influences, man. We're talking about A Z, of yeah. course, Cole being out of the yeah. Ville and you know, we spent a lot of time up here in Queens yeah. in New York City going to St. John's. Yeah. Um but also Andre three K, you yeah. talked about M J G, A Ball. Yeah. You know, what what are some of the things that you you look at as a producer though? Mm-hmm. Because again, I heard that in your music mm-hmm. that you really took the time to craft out mm-hmm. everything. It wasn't just like I get a beat pack, yeah. I'm gonna try to rhyme to this beat pack. What are some of your influences producer wise? Uh, of course, like Pharrell, Timberland, Kanye West, Dr. Dre. But just those like the main ones though. Like Timberland, all them Swiss beats too though. Like them people right there, I feel like they influence like. Like people, the artists that I like, they rap over their beats, the DMX, the Jay Z's, the mm-hmm. Eminem's, the Kendrick Lamar's, the Fifty Cent. So I feel like them right, them right there, they really influenced me though. Like to just be different, try to find your style, and try to find you know just you could rap and make beats. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you could do both. You could do both at a high level if you really like put the time in. Is it one that you're better at, production or or you know? I used to be lyrically. Make, I used to be making better at making beats. I was mm-hmm. making beats when I was like a. Uh, 12, 11 years old, but it's like when I started making music, it's like I, I couldn't I couldn't find the time to really like keep up. Cause like now it's like I'll be hands on my music as far as the, from the mix downs and everything like that. But production wise, like each tape I make less and less beats. Mm. And it like so, it just is it hard for you to collab with a producer? Like are you nah, getting I, I, actually, beats I, from I producers? Would, but like one thing about it, I realized, like being in the south, is like my style of music is made, but as far as the production. It's like they'll hear my music, right? But they'll try to like, they might send me like an AZ beat. But it's not, it's not the only beats I rap off though. Mm-hmm. So you know what I'm saying? I might have Shorty with the Big Boot. I might have any given Sunday. So it's like they would have to really understand my style is diverse to send me the right beat. Some people send me like 100 melodic beats. Some people might send me 100 boom back beats. But I don't really rap the boom back beats. So I rap the hip hop beats. But I feel like people like Joey Badass and did that at the best level in this day and time. So like, why would I try to you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. do what he did? So I try to find my own lane. I feel like it'd be so hard to find beats. I do got to go find them myself. Mm-hmm. My friends make beats too. They make beats with people like Young and Ace, other people like that. But it's like, it don't really fit my style. Mm-hmm. So, you know, but we gonna, we gonna, we got to probably get in the same room together. I think you... I- I, I can totally understand, but I think you should do that yeah. a bit more. Like, do you ever hear a beat and be like, damn, I should call the producer yeah, up. Yeah, let me yeah. let me see if you can yeah. switch up this and switch yeah. up that. Definitely do. Because mm-hmm. it always be like, it be just one little thing. It be a change of I ain't like. It don't be like the whole beat. I, I like it. Or they'll send me the beat once I already got like two melodic songs on my tape. So now I don't want my tape sounding all melodic. So now I'm on like some hip hop stuff. So they'll send me a, a style of beat that I really love, but it'd be too late. Because I already made that style. And I know when making a project, you got to have a diversity. So you might not like hip hop, you might love hip hop, but the next track gonna be R and B. Next track gonna be Southern. Next track gonna be experimental. So I could got them balance it out. All right. Well, look, because you're up here, man, I want to make sure that we get a song from a producer. I want to play it because you said so. I want I want to go ahead and take a request from you. So tell me a song to play for these people listening right now. Uh, anybody song? Yeah, anybody song, man. Um, but don't no, no church music though, man. You know I don't want to go. You know get phone calls from my auntie like, yo, you going to hell? You can't be playing that up there. Oh uh, man, that's a good one. I say, um, Kanye West, say you will. I like that beat. That's one. Of, that's, one, that's a fire beat though. Right. We let the beat play like ten minutes after the song was over. Yeah, that's well, then we gonna play that, man. Nameless validity. He's up here. It's great, Rizzy. We out here, shade forty five. It's a grind set. It's don't go nowhere. Nameless Validity, that's the name. He's up here. He got a new project out, 10 Green Lights, which actually dropped just before, the day before my, my birthday, Smith. You knew that? It dropped on the 9th. 
Birthday. Good project, yeah. The tenth. My birthday the thirteenth. Yeah, it's sad to see. I knew it was some energy right there. Sad season, baby. We up in here. I don't care what you got. What you got? If you ain't a sad, we ain't talking to you right now, man. So look, um, all right. So we got this project out. Ten Green Lights three. Um, I did appreciate that you poured a lot into this project too. And the reason why I'm really staying with the project because I want this to be about the music. Like you really cared. You did a listening session. It almost looked like it was a movie premiere the way you did it at home. Um, but you have like a lot of different songs i know i got a particular song that you sent but i switched it up a little bit i like this big mama's house joint yeah look that's what i was gonna pick though that was the one you was gonna go with but I, it's like i didn't know like i didn't know like once once they send me like your information mm -hmm. i was like okay like I'm, I'm not knowing like who i was gonna run into mm -hmm. so i'm just like, mm -hmm. i'm gonna go with the any given sunday to me and mariah but big mom house is like can relate my man hollywood hemi uh, Big Mom House and uh, somebody daughter. It's like the it's like come to top. I think the whole project is fire, and that's not man. just look. I'm not I'm not one of those cats that just tell you some shit to make you feel good because you're right here in my Thank face. You, I like the project because I feel like um, people like to make comparisons. Mm -hmm. I think you made some great ones. Um, I'm thinking like Camp Low. I'm thinking like Slum Village. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking like yo, there's a lot of music, a lot of songs on here that you could just vibe out to. Yeah. And you could just throw you could throw it on shuffle and you go to enjoy. Appreciate you it. dig what I'm saying? But Big Mama's house stood out to me because it was just like I grew up in that situation. Yeah. You know, my mama stayed with my her mama. Yeah. You know, it was Nana and all that. And then it, you know, just going through the whole story. But as you're putting this together, like, are you pulling from personal? Yeah, yeah that's personal. That's how I was. Like, man, me, my sister, my brothers. You know, we got like my mom got four kids. My oldest brother got autism. So you know, like, mm -hmm. that's why I work with now. I work with autism and stuff though. Back in the veil, so. You know, my mom stayed in there. My mom moved from Brooklyn. You know, she stayed with my grandma. And my aunt stayed there, too. She had her own demons that she was dealing with. So we mm -hmm. all stayed in the mm -hmm. same crib. And it's just like, when you get older, you realize it was money problems. But also, you realize it was managing money, too. That was the reason why, like, you're saying that you struggle so much, though. So that was like, that's like real life, though. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, like my first cousin, he grew up like my brother. That's my aunt, son. So, you know, I can't even catch my raps because all of them still, we all still here. So, like, right. you feel me? So, but that's how it really was, though. Yo. That's like that's like uh this one song go to Marcus from part two. That's like Big Mom House is like a part two to go to Marcus though. Mm -hmm. So that's really what it is. It's funny that you say that because it's kind of a situation that I had. I grew up, I was born here, yeah. but when we had to go, I like my mom stayed up here. I went with my grandmother. Yeah. We went to High Point. Oh yeah, I know High Point. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like we was right, bro. we was right there in the triad. Yeah, you know, yeah. don't worry. We gonna talk some In and Out Burger and some yeah. you know all that good yeah. stuff, some slaw and good <laughs> shit. <laughs> You know, we go get that food right up here, man. But what I want you all to do, man, everybody that's listening right now, go out there and get the project. Ten Green Lights 3 is out there. And then go backwards, man. Go stream part two. Go stream part one. You got merch and stuff? You got, you got, you got oh, like, man. that stuff going I got on? Some, I, I'm supposed to get some this weekend, but uh -huh. I came up here. All right, all right. So it's on the way. It's yeah, on the way. We'll, we'll make sure we get some of that on the yeah, way, man. Definitely. But look, I want to say thank you for, yes, you know, you. being up here, man. I, I feel like this ain't going to be the last time you're up here. Now that you know somebody, yeah. you feel what I'm saying? Like, let's keep that that continuing and stuff. And for everybody that's tapping in, I want you to reach out to him, man. S dot music though. Mm. T H O. <laughs> make sure you tap in with him. Let him know about the music that you're hearing right now. Before we get into the song, I know a lot of you probably got into your car a little late. It's all right. You can go ahead and replay. Play it with the serious sex and map. Just look up nameless validity. Don't worry, I'm gonna put the spelling in the screen so that way you don't fuck it up. All right, great Rizzy Shape 45. Listen to it on your time, of course, right there on the SXM map, iPhone, Android, of course, on a home connected device. Before we get up out of here, this is Big Mama's house. You want to say you want to shout out anybody before we leave? Shout out to everybody, man. Appreciate the opportunity, man. I'm the humble experience, though. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. I'm gonna I'm turn it up for him. Shout out to the motherfucking Bill. Everybody out there. Fade now. What's up, man? Yo, Moray. This is another one because I know a lot of people are down there now looking for talent. This is one right here. It's your guy, Gray Rizzy. Rizzy, best believe. We out here. Whoa.